What are you looking at? Go make some comics. <sighs> I have many things to do, but right now I just want to make me some comics. Pencil. Team looks good. I think I want just a black. And I want to think about how I'm using my page. But I talk about this in my we're making comics class. Hey, let's go to overhead. And you know, when I'm starting a page, I'm working on my comic, I'm always referring back to my my notes. And these are something else. This Page seven. The other one's horrified. Tells them to stop staring and explodes in flowers. Uh, and what I'm going to want, let's see, I want to have open the page just before. I just need the, the JPEG and the page before that. Also JPEG. Uh, and this one too. We're gonna need that one later. JPEG. Small files. I want them to have open for reference and continuity. So what I'm gonna do is take these, put them between. Boom. Same spot. Uh, and now I have. So I can have my reference in a tile and have an area to draw in. I've been d dialing in my, my setup here the last few sessions to where I like it. So. So everyone's staring already. I can have them a little more active than just telling them to stop staring. So they can be more animated. I want to build up and give this character more time. These characters, this is an eight page short story. So we don't get a lot of time with anyone to really know them. But what I'm able to do in theory is think about how much we learn about them from their behavior, and that they're maybe more complicated than you might first assume. So you can tell when the line's straight by the little jaggy shapes. And that's not perfectly straight, but it's straight enough. It was straight for a second, and then it shifted when I went down, but that is all I desire. I like an organic line, so these are just going to be guides for hand drawing them later. Uh, I'm going to make it three. I have four here, four beats here. So by a beat, it's like, you could actually argue that this is two, boom, and boom, and that, ba, ba, ba. So one, two, three, four, five, six, really. So if I have three, that's half, that's good, because I'm working up to a, a big splash page. Oops, I thought I touched. Close, but not quite. But all oh, the beauty of digital. I can just pull that around.
Don't have to be this tidy. I'm just being finicky. Okay. I would say, I just said this in my art comic class. There is always a desire to rush ahead and get the thing done. And there are economical reasons people are motivated to do this. Oops, what the heck happened? There we go. No, that's not the one I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Listening to some lovely music. I should be a way to like have a scumble. I can't play stuff because it'll get my channel copyright banned or something. I have problems even when I use friends music sometimes. I've toy for making my own. I actually have a keyboard, like a little USB plug-in synth thingy. To a few a few digital synths to fuck around, but I've only used it a little bit so far. Just making noises. I haven't had the time to practice and start memorizing any chords or anything. So I've made myself a, a template here for the page I'm thinking. I did the breakdown of how many moments I want. We've already done everyone for a fight, I already covered that. Okay, then let's go back to screen. There you go. So you can see I've groomed that a bit. Got it. Just what I want to know and nothing else. And of course, can clarify my thoughts. So that's going to be guides. Good. New layer. Yes. Something I talk about in my classes a lot, and I do actually do this sometimes. I look at this page and I want to, thinking about how the eye line is going to work, and I want to start with. Uh, an eye line to design around, try the other way around. So it'll inform how I frame shots, and I think that'll be a good choice here, so I'm going to do that. Now, I'm going to show you, before I draw one over here, I'm going to show you on this one how the eye line evolved. That's the thing, it can change, but what I ended up with is, let's see, we'll do a new layer. Uh, I forget what the keys are for that. So you're supposed to kind of look from, whoops, wrong tool. Look from here like that. And you'll notice that I'm, I'm within the constraints of left to right, zigzag left to right. Like that zip down to the next row. Except that I, I do a, a, a snake. Or a, or a slide, if you prefer. I talk about in comics, snakes and ladders, and using page design in a way that indicates I there's a ladder going up. Our character's looking up to see the drones. And then the drones and everything else serve to frame this guy. And then we see him sneeze. And if you had read the whole story, you would understand the implications of that. So what I'm trying to do now is think out a similar kind of flow. And I start with the abstract form of a vertical over this shape and here again. What I want is something that's going to pull people through this way. And maybe even that little, that'd be fun if I could get a spiral in. I have enough room here, it will probably work that. So that's going to inform how I use these panels. So I'm going to have an upshot.
and eye lines. So the character is going to look in this direction, all right, eyes, but also point. This guy just gives lots of fingers. He's an angry dude. figure that out more that's enough one of the things about thumbnailing is don't try to finish your drawings you're just going to be wasting energy because you haven't decided for sure on anything yet uh, yeah Protagonists. I'm going to frame the shot. Looking on in horror. Oh shit. So that was a mix of mannequin and gesture. For those of you who follow my videos for drawing tutorials, you'll see me do gesture demos and constructive drawing demos. And in, I've said in, in the videos, I think that I, I practice a, a hybrid of the two process wise. Hmm. seen in that direction before either too just think about that Oh, yeah. I just figured it out, too. So just so you understand, like a lot of this is improvised. I start playing with shapes and thinking about things, and I started thinking about drawing her healed back from above, and then I just realized what my spiral is. It just, it just tells me. Uh, mm, yes. So that just also told me what I'm going to do with the next angle.
one thing. So this is supposed to be something alien. And one of the things I'm doing, plants generally follow a consistent branching pattern. So they'll alternate, or they'll Y split, or they'll have three splits. Uh, it's what we talk talking about when we're talking about something being fractal. Let's give you an example of that. That's a simple version of it. Um, but on this one, I'm intentionally screwing with that, which I hope will help give it an otherworldly feeling. I think... Definitely more fanciful.
I like that shape, but that's not what I had in mind. Let's do that, though. I like the mirror. Okay, I think I want to put some panel borders on this, just in rough. Oops. You know what? Let me demonstrate. So I was doing this in class. I use this as a warm exercise doing panel borders freehand. Uh, 40 looks good. So you have undo and pulling and pushing has different results. I find pushing out from your inner left to your outer right as a right-handed artist is the most effective way to freehand a nice organic but freehand line even digitally and you'll see that i usually do it once ghost draw it and often draw it twice i'm getting slower waver in there but i think i like that waver so i'm going to keep it but if i want to get rid of it the trick is to do it quickly but you may have to redo it if you wiggle. And that's mostly down to smoothing out the movement of your arm. I think I'm not quite level. So the trick is we're trying to get at right angle. There we go. You can see the cursor almost quicker. I can probably, oh, there we go. I can probably just select There we go, just a little thicker on that side. Oh. Premature. And that's fine, because I'm going to actually tweak that. Uh, you know what? Let's just do that last bit over. And then, uh, yes, what, there we go, rotation tool wasn't coming in. Uh, I'm trying to get as big as I can so it's comfortable. I don't want a t small tight movement. There we go. And this serves as both a way to draw the style of panel borders I like. And as general kind of drawing control exercise. Nope. I like the when it wiggles a little bit. That's what I'm after. I just don't like when it bends or wiggles too much. <laughs> I'm picky. But I like this hand-drawn aesthetic. I've been doing that for decades now. So that's my panel borders.
28 minutes. So I'm going to post that as standalone thumbnailing from script, roughing from script around page flow and design from ground up. So you can see now how the line pulls through. Here, let's put that back before it rolls on throughout this spiral design. Uh, I had a scene where this guy is supposed to explode like this, so that works in my favor. Um, yeah. So that's going to be cool. All right. Come back to it. But there you see. Stay tuned for penciling in the next clip.